And finally this week we saw Edge of Darkness and it's directed by Martin Campbell who also did Casino Royale and this is based off of a BBC miniseries of the same name and it's uh, the, the first film that Mel Gibson has starred in I think seven years. Um, his, his first big comeback. And He's had some trouble off <laughs> screen in case you hadn't heard. <clears throat> and uh, it's the the story revolves around a uh, Massachusetts detective named Thomas Craven, played by Mel Gibson, who is picking up his daughter, who he hasn't seen in quite some time, and she is murdered out front of his home. It, it's there. There really is a kind of uh, two different movies playing off in here. There's the uh, the big government corporation type of movie. The the conspiracy theory Mel Gibson and then there's also kind of the the payback Mel Gibson where he's you know very angry and brooding and you know isn't gonna take anything off of anybody to to do the things that he needs to do and you know I I think the the payback Mel Gibson movie was a little bit better than the big government conspiracy theory Mel Gibson movie well, but I mean it, it still worked together well yeah, I mean, it's pretty easy to dismiss a lot of the plot elements in this movie and uh, the the big corp. I mean, that's it's sort of one of the things where the movie is is putting a, a complex or convoluted plot in place of an actually a, an actually sophisticated plot. Mm -hmm. And I don't know that it was terribly sophisticated. There's a lot of there's a lot of detail, and you know, there's all these movers and shakers, uh, yeah. senators and everything that are involved in it. Uh, you know, a, a group of you know, eco terrorists. Mm -hmm. that, you know, and and really, you know, like the villain is sort of Bond like. I mean, his, he's got this his yeah. his cor corporate headquarters is like buried <laughs> in a hill, and he he uses irradiated steam to thwart intruders. And it's just, I mean, it's really a laser beam wrist watch away yeah. from being a Bond movie, but, uh, you know. And, I mean, the villain is played by Danny Houston, so, I mean. Well, and he can play smug, sinister uh, better than I, I think that's all he plays, actually. <laughs> Usually, yeah. So. Uh, so I mean, it's pretty easy to dismiss, but I mean that's typical of every thriller, and 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 this one certainly isn't breaking the thriller mold. Mm -mm. Uh, but most thrillers don't try to, and, and you know I think despite all of Gibson's off-screen antics, he's still uh, you know an engaging actor. He's still fun to watch. Oh, yeah. and he's, I mean he's believable as this you know the cop with nothing left to lose. Yeah. And, and you know I mean it, it is an entertaining movie. It's not great, but I, I enjoyed it. No, and I mean I I still think Mel Gibson carry movie on uh, his own name. I mean, he's believable. The only the only problem that I had a little bit with it was all the people who were trying to do accents. You know, you have the senator and Mel Gibson. Um, the only accent that I believed was Ray Winstone because he's doing his own <laughs> accent. Well, yeah, so. and, and, and really, as conventional as most of this movie is, his character I thought was the most, most interesting. Mm -hmm. In fact, I mean, I really wish the movie had been about his character because uh, you know, typically you've got this guy who's gonna, uh, who may or may not change sides. Yeah. And you know, you never understand his motivation. And th there's one scene in the movie where it completely explains it. So I buy everything he does yeah. the rest of the movie. It's just, it's unfortunate that he's not in it very much. Yeah. Uh, I really, instead of you know, leave the detective alone. I want to see more about this guy. Uh, unfortunately, he won't be in the sequel. No. Yeah. No, well, nobody will be, but anyway, th this is, I mean, it's not, it's not a great thriller, and it's, I don't know, it's, it's the movie that's going to uh, completely mend Gibson's star. No. But. But it's a good movie. But it is a good movie. And so. enjoyable. Yeah, I mean, for this time of year, this is a pretty competent mm -hmm. thriller, so. Yeah. I'll be sure to check that out.